Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Divi's Theme Builder Portability features. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is to export our template that we have on this website. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to hover over here where it says Divi. And you notice that we have several options here. We have theme options, theme builder, theme customize, and so on. But the one that we need is the theme builder. So I'm gonna select it. And you notice here that we actually have a template on this website. So we have a header, we have a footer. We also have a custom 404 page, a custom body for all our posts. So to export, what you wanna do is to come over here to the top, right this is portability so if you click here it will give you options now so in this case here we have export all templates so this is what we need to do if we want to export all templates so all you have to do is to click on export Divi Builder Template. I'm gonna click on that. And then within a moment, you can see here, it's downloaded onto my computer. So I'm just gonna close this and then show you what that file looks like. So I'm just gonna navigate here to my folder where the file is, and this is what it looks like. So it's just Divi Builder uh, Template.json file. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to import a template onto your website. So I'm so confident that what I've done, I've actually exported everything here. So I'm going to get rid of this template by just deleting it here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit reset. And now I'm back to normal. I'm gonna save all changes. Right, so what I wanna do now is to import a template. So this is just simulating the fact that if you have a website without a template, this is how you would do it. So again, I come over here to portability, I click here. And this time we want to import. So I'm gonna click here on import. And then I'm just gonna drag my file over here onto this area here. Or the other way you could do it is just to navigate and just go to the actual folder where you have this file. So now that I have it all set, I'm gonna click here on import DV theme template. But notice here I have override the default website template. I'll go into detail and explain why you would want to do this, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, import this. And within a moment, this will be all imported. So now we have our header, we have our footer, we have pretty much everything that we need for our website. So once you've done this now, and this is a mistake that quite a lot of people do here, once you've imported it, it doesn't mean that it's already saved. So what you wanna do is to come over here now and click on save changes. So that ensures that everything is all saved. So in this next example, I wanna show you how to export a single template. So let's say you just wanna export this 404 uh, template or maybe the post. So again, you come over here to portability and then where it says export all templates, you deselect that. So now it will show me all the templates that I have on my website. So let's say in this case, I want to export the 404 page. I can just click here on 404 and then click on export DV theme builder template. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And what happens now is this just exports just the uh, 404 page. So again, let's take a quick look at that. So over here now, I know it's it has the same name here, uh, DV theme uh, templates, but of course you can, you can name it as you're exporting it. So this is what it would look like. So let's just come over here now uh, and show you where you'd rename it. So here, you can actually name this 404 template. So now we know what template this is. So if I hit export now, you, it was, is going to be actually named 404. So here, 404 template. So now that uh, I can share this, or if I'm going to save this on my computer, I will know exactly what this is. Right, so the next example is, I wanna show you how to export selected items. So let's say I wanna go and export, uh, let's say this one, but uh, without exporting the 404. So if I come over here to uh, portability and uncheck this, I can actually choose what templates I need to export. So you can no you notice here it has export all templates, default website template and so on. So I can maybe let's say choose the 404 and the posts. So this is how you can choose just more than one template to export. So now I'm gonna go ahead and export the Divi Builder templates. So now all I've exported here is just these two. Now there are situations where you could have 
some conflicts when you import your templates. So let me show you what that would look like. So I'm gonna come over here and let's say I'm going to import a template. So this is where now we're going to talk about these options. So here, uh, you can see here it says override the default website template. Now this is if you, are, if you want to get rid of the template that you have on your website and allow import to override existing assignments. Again, this will just get rid of everything that's on your website. But if you uncheck this, and let's say we choose the file here, I'm just gonna drag it or, yeah, in fact, let me just navigate to it. So it should be my downloads folder. Okay, so here it is, click open. Right, so now, uh, one other thing that you may want to do is before you actually uh, import this, you may want to back up your current template before you actually do this. Now, the reason why you may want to do this is, let's say something doesn't work here, uh, you can always go back to your download and um, you know reinstall that uh, download if something goes wrong. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead now and import the theme builder templates. So now, you notice that it says, relink them to websites, global header, body, or footer. So this is very important because if nothing is linking, this button here allows all those links to be assigned, which means that everything should work okay. Yeah. So this is what you would do in a case of a conflict. All right, so now if I import the DV Builder templates, what has happened now is it has downloaded a backup of what I have here. And you notice now that uh, because I didn't override my templates, these have been added now. This is just a duplicate of what we have here on the top. They've been added here onto the bottom. So this is where now, let's say this template had a different header type uh, assigned to the post. You can actually get rid of this and so your global header will still show. And then these headers here would show on these um, templates. But you notice one very important here, it says unassigned. So you have to unsign this, assign this to something in order for this to work. So currently it's not assigned, so it wouldn't do anything. So if I come over here to my settings, uh, little settings button, I can then choose where I need to assign that to. So let's say specific category pages, then I'm gonna go for bread, I hit save. Now this template here has been assigned to that particular template type. But of course, as you can see, this looks uh, really clumsy. So the best way to actually do this or what I recommend is to just pretty much go in there if you want to install a brand new template on your website because going in and starting, uh, starting to assign these templates to um, whatever posts or pages, that can take quite long. So what I would do is if I'm going to uh, install a new template on my existing website, I will just override everything and I'll just show you one more time how to do that. So you come over here to portability, import, and then you wanna make sure that this is selected, override the default templates and then import and override existing assignments. And then over here, you might as well go in and uh, download the backup before importing. So this will just override pretty much everything that's on your website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.